Nabila from Dutt Community Medical College. In today's video, I will be telling you about an easy trick how to draw the diagram for the typical intercostal nerve. As you know that there are total in in total there are eleven intercostal nerves on each side, and out of which third to sixth intercostal nerve is the typical intercostal nerve. Now the question comes: How the intercostal nerve is formed? It is formed by the ventral ramus of the thoracic spinal nerve. As we know, the spinal nerve it is formed by the ventral and dorsal roots, and it is a mixed nerve. Then out of this Ro uh, the spinal nerve, one ventral ramus comes and one dorsal ramus comes. The dorsal ramus it basically supplies the muscle and skin of the back, and the ventral ramus it basically supplies the muscle and skin of the anterior lateral body wall and the muscle and skin of the limbs. This ventral ramus it then finally supplies the thoracic wall, and so thus it is called as the intercostal nerve. Now. Let's start with the diagram. If you want to know the course or any other diagram of uh, diagram series, uh, so you can write in our comment section so that we can uh, like link you up with that. So let's start without wasting much time. First of all, we will draw the TS that is the transverse section of the spinal cord. Okay, like this, I'm going to draw the transverse section of the spinal cord. Okay, now we will draw the horns. And this is gonna be a central canal. Okay. Now, now we will take a, this is our dorsal side. This is our ventral side. I'm just writing for your convenience. Now, here is our dorsal root. And obviously, dorsal root is there. The so dorsal root ganglia will be there. Okay. Here comes our ventral root. Okay. So. Dorsal root and this is formed by the this is our the spinal nerve. Okay, and as we know the dorsal root is sensory, it takes the afferent fibers and ventral root is motor and it takes the efferent fibers. So this is a trunk of the spinal uh, nerve I can see and uh, this uh, now here from here uh, one ventral ramus will be there, one dorsal ramus. So this is gonna be our dorsal ramus. And this is gonna be a ventral ramus okay so I am drawing about since we are drawing the intercostal nerve so I am just drawing about ventral ramus okay so now I will be outlining these okay okay now, first of all, before outline, before taking double line, I will be telling you about the branches. We have to draw one line over here. It will be our lateral cutaneous branch. I will name it later, obviously. Here, one more branch will be there. And here, two branches. You have to draw one line over here, two, three, and four, and last line over here. Okay, so this is our uh, intercostal nerve diagram. And in this dorsal ramus, we have to draw one branch over here. Okay, and obviously one branch from here, like this. So, okay, and since in the ventral ramus there is always a sympathetic ganglia, so sympathetic ganglion I would say since it is singular I'm drawing, and so it is connected by dog gray and uh, white ramus communicants. Okay, so now I will double line this. In the exam, if you will draw this, it's uh, gonna be very easy for sure, inshallah. Okay. This. We will be drawing this over here. Like, first you can draw it and then give it a double lining. Basic outline is very necessary for any diagram. Okay. And this is it. Obviously, you have to fill in yellow color over here. Now, for the dorsal ramus. Okay, let's see like this, like this, and like this, and this one, like this, okay. So this is our basic diagram over here. Now I will be uh, labeling this diagram. And also we have to do yellow color over here. Okay, so now it's our diagram, and now I'll be, I will be labeling it. So first of all, I will be labeling the basic things. Uh, like this is our TS that is a transverse section of spinal cord. Okay In exam obviously you have to write the full transverse section. I'm just writing TS for 
like easy way okay now we know the dorsal root ventral root okay so this is our dorsal root ganglion dorsal root ganglion okay okay now this is the trunk of our spinal cord this is our trunk of the spinal cord and this is gonna be our great mi communicants great mi communicants it basically uh, uh, transverses the post ganglionic fibers okay and this is our sympathetic ganglion okay and this is our white right mi communicants So this is the basic labeling over here and this is obviously our dorsal ramus so I will write it over here. It's more it's more more better or most better I can say that if you are um, writing the or doing the labeling on just one side of the page that's the right side or the left side but more convenient is again right side. So this is the basic. Now I will be labeling others, obviously the branches. So first of all, we will uh, label the branches for uh, the intercostal nerve. So this is our, okay, this is our uh, plural branch. I'm just writing a BR for branch, okay. This is our lateral cutaneous branch. Lateral cutaneous branch. This is our muscular branch. So applying the muscles. This is our periosteal branch, supplying the bones, and this is the terminating branch of the intercostal nerve, that is the anterior cutaneous branch. Okay, then this is the labeling over here. Then we will label the um, dorsal ramus, and this is gonna be the medial branch of the dorsal ramus. And this is the lateral branch of the dorsal ramus. So that's it for the typical intercostal nerve. So hope you like this video. And uh, please do like, share, comment and subscribe. And if you want any other diagrams, so please do tell us in the comment section. Thank you.